Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So today we are doing a bit of maintenance. I have, as you know, big plans for this area in front of the shed, but it has been a long time working on those plans. And for Christmas, my family actually bought me a few of the raised beds that I want to put in this space. So later today, I will be tackling those raised beds. I will link that video below whenever I'm done with it. I think it's gonna be a long process. They bought me four of the raised beds I want. Um, I want to do two L-shaped patterns here, so I need a total of 12 to kind of do the whole thing. But Rome was not built in a day, and neither will this, that's okay. But in the meantime, um, everything just kind of needs a little bit of work. A lot of these leaves need blown out of the way. We got more cardboard, it is in the shed. So my brother is going to come over and help me finish cardboarding the rest of these weeds all the way back to the back of the shed so that I can um, fill the space with either pea gravel or um, raised bed mix for the raised beds once those are in. Um, but it's kind of just, you know, the cardboard's done its job, it is put down, to be a no dig method it suppresses the weeds and then it will you can see it starts to decompose um it just needs to be covered by either pea gravel or compost and raised bed mix because this isn't the look we're going for but this is way better than a field full of weeds so you know just wish we could have done it sooner so we're gonna get started with ooh, that was a hummingbird. all the fun stuff in just a little bit but first, maintenance. So I'm going to put down the cardboard. I'm going to work on the leaves. If I can keep my brother interested long enough, I have leaves on that side and this side that I'm still bagging up and mulching. Um, that way I can put leaves in the raised beds as part of the compost mixture. Leaf mulch is great for your cut flower gardens and your vegetable and fruit gardens. So. We're gonna just do as much maintenance as we can kind of get done before we start working on the raised beds. So let's get started. Okay, I brought my leaf blower. I'm not gonna worry too much about the entire space where the raised beds are going because until they get in, um, any leaves where the raised beds are going, they don't need to move. I'm just gonna add leaf mulch to those spaces. Um, but I don't want a lot of leaves where my pea gravel is gonna go, so you may wait for that. Of course, only having four beds and not the full 12, probably not gonna a pea gravel for a minute, so. getting there so got all around the air conditioner down around the milkweed down around the rose I think we need at least two more big ones and then I'm gonna have to find a long skinny box or some boxes to cut up to do by the fence but we're almost done with this part I've been oh, the boxes that we got on Facebook marketplace had all this paper inside so I've been taking the paper out it's a super fun job but we're getting close and then we will move on to the leaves. All right, there's cardboard all the way down the hill. I don't know if you noticed but every time Betty was sitting up here, my little Yorkie, she just kept sliding down the hill. This is going to be so great once I cover it in compost. I have a little garden bed here, so there's going to be compost around the shed here all the way up. 
And then I'm planning to build a surround around my air conditioner, kind of build it in, fence it in. My trash can goes here. So pea gravel will go up around the beds here and then through the raised beds, which Will and I, my brother and I got built. If you want to check out that video, it's down below. And then you saw we got quite a bit of um, leaf mulch done. I am ideally trying to get 12 bags of leaf mulch done. If you haven't seen my leaf mulch video, I will link that down below. But essentially leaf mulch is great for your garden and your vegetables and your raised bed mix. I'm trying to get 12 bags so I can put one in each of my raised beds along with my topsoil and compost and everything that I'm putting in those this year. So I'm just excited that everything is coming together. We got a lot of maintenance done and we we'll go take a shower. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.